Hello everyone, Z here. Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms Sunjian Campaign, where we are, well, to be completely honest, uh, hoping that Sai Mao holds off on attacking us for just a, a, a tiny bit longer. It's a tiny bit longer. Shit on a biscuit. He is not holding off. He is attacking us right the hell now. Okay. Okay, okay. The enemy have left their siege equipment vulnerable, and a well-placed rock, rock slide could cripple their assault. Although we must move from man away from rebuilding and repairing defenses, it can be done. Oh, actually, actually. I can win this. It's not going to be easy, but I... I can pull this off. Okay. I'm not sure why fighting at night made it a close battle instead of a Pyrrhic one, but a good general does not shy away from opportunity when it presents itself and I will attack. I must attack and I'll do it right now. Strategist. Everyone has something to say. Mm. Driven by rage, you march to your death, Tsai Mao. My army will smash you upon the field, and then hopefully we will be able to push forward, seize your lands, and then we shall visit unto you a great violence, such that Men shall tremble to witness. That is what I have to offer you. As soon as this loading is done. Come on to the war. I do believe in you. <laughs> this, this battle is going to hinge... As battles, especially in the early games, so often tend to, on who has the better ranged units. And in this particular instance, that happens to be myself. Because not only do I have more archers, marginally more, I have artillery. Aha! <laughs> character cannot duel, character does not want to duel. Me, 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 me. Uh. I'm not done and impress. Cannot duel, doesn't want to duel. Cannot duel, doesn't want to duel. Bloody hell. Is there not a brave person in the... Oh. Never mind. Oh, 
Oh, that's what we call a problem. Never mind, you're gonna be a problem. There we go. Yeah, see, this is how it's supposed to go. See, a lot of the enemy are deciding they do not actually want a piece of me and mine, which suits me right down to the bloody ground. Why fight when you can convince the enemy that running away is a more sensible decision? There we go. I'm sorry I didn't give you guys epic visuals. It's a bit hard to do epic visuals when you're trying to not have a battle go horrifically wrong. That's another general killed. And that's that one running away. Oh my god. Ugh. Oof. Oof. A close victory? Honestly, it didn't feel like a close victory. It felt pretty... Pretty decisive. I lost maybe 17, 22 men at most. And I killed a lot. That's too much math. I'm not doing that math. Haha. <laughs> no, thank you. Joke's on you, Creative Assembly. You cannot make me take another math course. <laughs> oh, man. I hate math. I hate it so much. Ah. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Memorial Day. Well, I shouldn't say a wonderful Memorial Day. A solemn Memorial Day. Today we remember our fallen. It shouldn't be a memorial. It shouldn't be a happy day. Even though I've been told no soldier should be honored for doing that, which is his duty. I don't subscribe to that view. Anyway, yeah, only 22 casualties to kill 369. I'll take replenishment because I really... I need fresh troops.
and he's dead. Well, 75 men. Made money though. Gained. Let's see, I have family spear. Not worth it. I'll release him. Ooh. Plus eight expertise, ten percent increased to armor piercing damage and ten percent to firing rate, if commanding. I don't know if that'll actually work for him. Yeah, sure. Go to war with Hu Yi. What do I stand to lose? Nothing. What do I stand to gain? A lot of money. What can I do with that money? Hmm. Well, right off the bat, I can... Not do any upgrades. I can do repairs. Repairs are good. And... I can raise an army, not a big one. But I can get it started, and their mission, once I very gradually fill them out, will be to move south. Take the rest of Changsha. Six turns. Ah, that won't do. I'm in a bad shape. Ha! <laughs> no. He's not paying me. What's in it for me? Oh, you get to be in a coalition with me. No, that's not enough. Like, hell, that's not enough. You know what? Fuck it. We don't have time to wait. Yeah, see? They're already building a new army. On a what? I will starve them out. You see if I don't. Ah, right. Down here. You get this. And no, no. Wait. No, you're wearing that. Never mind. Nope. 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 Uh. Sure. I will take Jianglong, Jiangling, and then I will make peace. A man needs to know where his priorities are in these situations. If you don't have your priorities straight, well, uh, mm, you don't want to be there. Know who your enemy is, know what they have, and what you can take from them. I want to fill my commandery out. <laughs> to do that, I am going to fight as hard as I can. Then I'm going to go into Changsha. While I'm finishing up Changsha, I'm going to go 
to that place that will border where Cao Cao will expand to. Which is important because, well, la di da di da da do. That's where the weaponsmith is, and I want it. And then I'm probably gonna go south. There's spice, there's fishing. If I can carve my territory out of the Southlands, I can build up a substantial economic base. I, th I expect. I could be wrong. But if I go south and southwest, leaving, of course, two or three armies in the north, I should be able to amass a power base from which I can attack the rest of the co of the warlords. That's my hope, that's my aim for this season. Obviously, not specifically for this episode, because ha ha ha, this is only episode two. I'm still early game, surrounded by people who hate me. On a map that is quite nice to me. Yes, thank you. Shield wall. Don't care. They are free to come. Bring it on. Take a look at shield wall. Oh, it's so sexy. Look at that. Okay, I'm missing something. They're here somewhere. Knew it. They're attacking Sun Jian. That's cute. That's less cute. Ah. Shit, 
You know what? I don't care if he got defeated. He was getting his ass handed to him. Come on. Okay. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, kill the enemy general. Kill the enemy general. That breaks them. A lot of enemy are dead. They're lying there in the water. Close victory, not a Pyrrhic one. They told me it would be Pyrrhic. I think I managed to kill quite a lot more of them than they killed of me. Oh look, good for the artillery. 191 and 166 kills responsibly. Respectively, that's the word I'm looking for, not responsively. Bloody hell. English is difficult, guys. Stay in school. I am in school. <sighs> bah. And their generals only managed to kill 15 men apiece. That's another way to say it. 169. Well, 166, 191, respectively, or apiece. Huh. Oh, 
25 heroism. And now we make peace. Well, not exactly now. Now. Battle is ours. And the commandery is ours. Tsai Mao has been destroyed. Huang Gai and Zhang Hong are friends. Huang Gai is leveled up. Little Sun Tzu is energetic. Sun Jian and Huang Gai are oath sworn. So, on that subject, Oath Sworn is something that is very useful. Let's skip over. Uh, da, 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 da. Right here, Oath Sworn. If all or sworn are alive, it is a permanent 12% bonus to ranged evasion, ranged block chance, and melee evasion. If the Oath Sworn is killed, first Dolph gains 9,000 9, health, then doubles melee damage and does 24% more melee evasion, and then it becomes permanent. If his friends are active, so these, these two stick together all the time. Uh, assuming he doesn't become O Sworn with everyone in the army, 6% block chance and evasion. Goody goody gumdrops. Okay, let's open the old diplomacy tree. Liu Bao, I want to make peace with you, you crotchety old bastard. Absolutely not. I see, I'm just going to have to do something dramatic, like take, oh, I don't know, Jiangxia. I'm not going to pay you, you bastard. You can go to hell. Come on, Liu Biao, ask me for peace. I have things that are more important for me to be doing. Far more significant than educating weak men and how to be great. Uh, okay, it has been roughly half an hour-ish. I don't want to go too long, so I'm going to call it here. Oh, by the way, Sun Tzu, Little Sun, is available and will be joining Cheng Pu's army at some point in time, as yet undetermined. In the meanwhile, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, 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 please do me a big favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment with where you think I should attack next. Should I focus Sun Jian on unifying Jiang Sha, taking out He, he Yi? And going up into Xiangyang. I have to admit, the Toolmaker and this city are very tempting. Very tempting. But so is having a buffer. And I am well aware that having my territories concentrated below the Yangtze is a massive strategic benefit. So, let me know. In the meantime, I am going to be gone for 
five weeks. I hope you guys don't miss me too much. I will continue recording content while I am gone. So you guys will get a bunch of uploads starting June 15th, hopefully. Until then, I'm Z. This has been Vukari Gaming playing Sunjian. I'll see you guys in the next video.